Hello everyone, welcome to Knights of the Round Table. I have TJ here, and for tonight's edition, we're going to be reviewing a French anime film called MFKZ, which is short for Mother Efforts. And I'll be summarizing. So MFKZ is a film about a half-human, half-macho hybrid named Angelino, who gets, into, who gets into a bus accident that causes him to have visions of these macho shadows he sees everywhere he goes. And the movie takes place in a town called Dark Meat City, where the crime rate is very high. Right. So TJ, what are your thoughts on the movie? It's okay, but it's flawed. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff, but it's flawed. Yours? Um, I actually really enjoy it. Okay. It's a fun, um, action-packed film. Okay, we have a dynamic. All right. What'd you like? I guess what'd you like about it, Luca? What'd you like? Hmm. Um, I I like how they tell the backstory of Angelino. They do a really good job on it. Okay. So, it's told in chunks. From the beginning to the middle to the end instead of just telling it in chronological order at the, be at the very beginning of the film okay uh, all right i oh boy I'll, I'll get i'll get into why i don't think this movie is i'll get into my problems with the film later but but i'll kind of well, hope you don't mind me just like to put it short there's a lot it's a very well it's a very to me it's a very well it's a very well made film but it's a very cramped film it it's a it's based on a, it's based on the manga and it feels like feels like it okay all right uh, okay so all right so, all right so i guess we should talk about the animation first what's your thoughts on it amazing yeah yeah it's a yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Like the like the animation itself, like the movement, is all it's all right. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I do love. But personally, my favorite aspect of the film is the production of it. But it's very, like as mentioned, it. I love the, I love the look of what's it, Dark Meat City, a DMC. DMC. It's very. I love how grimy it is. I love. I love. I love the character design and how people look off and bizarre. Mm -hmm. It's a very, it's a, and I just like it's a very unique setting for a, it's a very unique setting for what an anime film, and it's, and I really enjoy it. But it's intentional. They they want it to look bizarre. I know. That's why I like it. It works for this film. Uh, all right, and you you. You, anything else you like about this film particularly? I like how the fights are animated. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. I like how um, I like how the gunshots are made. Uh -huh. And I, it's just cool to see um, and Angelino um, have tentacles come out of him. Uh -huh. Like a weird sci-fi thing. Yeah. I thought the about the anime, I thought personally, I thought the fight scenes were all, they were good, they were, they were really well done, they were really good, how not, how they didn't really add much, at least in my perspective, like, and I don't mean, like, to the film, I mean, like, in, like, in, like, I wouldn't rec, how to put this, they're, they're good, but they're, they're good, but they're not incredibly groundbreaking, like, this is, if that makes any sense. Um, why do you say it's incredibly groundbreaking? I don't like. There's to, like it's not it's not must see action in my opinion. It's not must. It's not must. Does that does that make any sense? Um. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I wouldn't seek it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Remember, I wouldn't recommend seeking out this film just to see it. You get. You get. We. You get the idea. Yeah, before we go any further, I um, want to let a little disclaimer. This film is not meant for kids. It contains blood, gore, violence, and some sexual humor. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, so, so I never would show it to the whole family. Um, you have to be 18 or older. Yeah. All right. All what right. else? Uh, let's move up. All right. The anime. Okay, the anime. 
animation's good. I didn't. Hmm. What's your What's your thoughts on the comedy? I thought it was. What's your thoughts? Um. It's good, but it's not. It's nothing like um uncommon. We okay. we we see this kind of comedy used in a lot of anime films, and in yeah. like live action films in general. Yeah, except except Shakespeare, dude. <laughs> okay. I like I like personally the personally the comedy was <coughs> it ranged from okay it ranged from all right like not particularly not particularly effective but not not really offensive except some like in the film they have these sections where they just shout at the audience and like they have they basically just have the a narrator which I didn't like those but beyond that beyond that nothing really nothing really was nothing really was t- awful willie's like, character though he cracks uh, me up except willie yeah <laughs> he, he's the I film's know, main like, source of comic relief uh, yeah they, they make him consistently funny and annoying which i really like and I, I didn't find him too funny i do appreciate him being buzz you know <laughs> he's buzz it's very much all right all right so anything else during what well, anything else for the anything else for the animation comedy and action section okay. hmm. um what about the what about the part where they the the wrestlers launch a missile up into space and freeze the macho also our audience doesn't know what the machos are assuming they don't know haven't watched the film all right, there's going to be spoilers ahead. Okay, uh, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good scene. <laughs> I quite, yeah, it's a very, it's a, it's a pretty peaceful scene. It's a pretty peaceful scene. I wish it. I like the explosion in the air. Yeah, the explosion's not much. Mostly, mostly like, I mostly like the city freezing, the surreal imagery of just the mud. Mo- the macho's freezing. Oh yeah, here's a slight spoiler. In the film, the world's invaded by a species of alien called the macho, which are basically black tentacled creatures that take the shape of humans. I lo- I think the, the backgrounds are good. The background, mostly it's, it's nice. Anyway, so one, well, should we move to the care onto the characters, the story? How about um, uh, um the character arcs? Okay, most, uh, my opinion, my opinion, they were not too, they were not too good. Main, I may need, what's his, I need to look at his name real quick. That, that, that. Ollie, let's see. I do, An, Angel, Angel, Angelino, is that his name correct? Yeah, the main character. Oh, uh, person, <laughs> personally, personally, one of my, one of my problems is that I, just don't find Angelito that interesting of a protagonist. Like, <laughs> yeah, I need to stop saying like so much. <coughs> He's, he is very, like, we did, uh, here I go again. Mm-hmm. He's a, he doesn't really have a, he really doesn't have, and it, to me, in my watching, he didn't, he didn't really have a consistent, what's it called? what's it called motivation like, and i don't mean like he doesn't have and i don't mean like he changes his motive he doesn't really have much of a motivation he is like he has various things like he likes what's her name but, 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 yeah like luna luna thank you he, he likes luna he he wants to get out of m like bm bmc but really nothing too developed he's nothing too developed because of the because of that he does like <laughs> luna but what? he he does like luna but he keeps forgetting about that motivation yeah it's not yeah boy it's luna but we'll get to the I'm, i would like to get i'll get to my thoughts on her during the plot section but <laughs> but she's very yeah but yeah he doesn't really have yeah it, because of his because of his he doesn't he has a, and also his personality isn't too, what's a, what's the word? Um, his personality. Brought up. To me, what? Brought up. 
not brought up like too strong. Oh. I keep like hope you don't mind me looking at names real quick. Da, 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 da. Here we go. I he some at times, and I don't mean this, and this might sound mean, but I didn't he, I didn't find him too different from Viz, Viz, Vince. Is that his friend's name? Yeah. Vince, I first the flaming skull. That's his friend, and who goes with him through the film. Oh. Anyways, because of his, anyways, to me, because of his lack, because of because of his lack, his vague motivation and and just weak personality, his journey throughout the film just didn't really have much what's the word progression in it. Mm-hmm. Like we didn't like okay, like it's okay, like okay, like it's okay to have a character that doesn't change much for the film, but he just. He just doesn't have. Yeah, there's just not. It's just very. It is there is there isn't much move, like there, there doesn't feel the much be much movement plot wise. It's just it's just action, like it's just basically it's just action action. He gets captured, then just action, then just a little break, then action action, and then it stops. Yeah, I see what you mean. The What's same stuff repeating over and over again. I mean, um, it's a good story, but they could add like a, a little more um, interesting, um, interesting events to it. Yeah. I like mean, have them do something else, something else other than fighting and getting captured. Yeah, so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I guess on this. I guess on the side characters, like. We mentioned we mentioned Willie, but what's your thoughts on the other characters? Um, like um, the ones um, besides like, the main three. Yes, like we have the cockroaches, Shakespeare dude. Lur- I keep on forgetting his name because of terrible names. I I get that the cockroaches. Bins. Hmm? Yeah. And Luna, and Luna. What's your thoughts on all of them? Um. And more, of course. Luna's okay, I guess. Uh, I just wish she would show more affection towards um, Angelino. Yeah. It, yeah. She doesn't seem all that interested in him. Yeah. I mean, okay. What? What? Yeah. What about every? Yeah. Well, the, the film would have been better if it was like a star-crossed lover story. Yeah. I don't think. Like personally, I don't. I would. Like it personally, it didn't. I don't think it needed it to be. Although I would rather it be like that. I'd rather it be like that. I think there's a like going to Luna. <laughs> I think she has a very interest. I think she has a very not to go into spoilers. She has a very interesting dynamic with, like, on paper with, with. I'll have it up with their names. That the the name is. Out. And, Angela, like here. Blah. She has, she has a very, I think she has an interest, like the idea of her relationship with Angelino, and I'm not talking about her, her romantic, romantic relationship, like the, the relationship they, the similarity they have is interesting on paper, although it's not introduced until halfway through the film and it's poorly, and it just feels poorly explored. Mm. Mm. To be fair, she, she does know about, um, Angelina before they for and he falls in love with her. He yeah. he she works with um her father to capture him. Yeah, but still. Yeah, but and then she tries don't... to like uh, apologize to him for it. Yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, but they still not too explored. Anyways, anyways, what about everyone? Anyways, any characters you found interesting beyond Luna? The cockroaches. Yeah. They're sort of a recurring theme throughout the film. We see them in the apartment. We see them um out on the street, we see, yeah, and we see them um, out where um, the luchadors live. Yeah, they're more, they're more interesting than that. They're more interesting than Ange- Angelo. They're more interesting than Angelo. Yeah, the luchadors find out about the cockroaches, and they they come down to Earth to get rid of the machos. They were always on Earth. I know, but they, the cockroaches have like a relationship with the the machos or something. No, like... Uh, I know they, they like um, Angelo. Yeah. I mean, 
mean, they, I mean, the, <laughs> what, what are they, I keep, the luchadors, I saw a sign of them on one of their, on one of their things, and that's, and that's why they followed them. Speak, <laughs> yeah, speaking of, speaking of the luchadors, yeah, anyways, I found, the, I found those cockroaches bizarrely cute. I'm not sure everyone, obviously, not everyone's gonna do that, but they're, 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 I find them adorable. There's the whole horde of cockroaches. I love a guy so much they're gonna go across the desert to find them. I cannot imagine it being cute having hordes of cockroaches living in your apartment. Mm, yeah, it was I'm sorry, but I disagree. <laughs> yeah, it was. Now, speaking of which, what's your thoughts on the what? The, what are they? Ah, names, names, names. What's your thoughts on the luchador? Luchadors. Um, they're cool characters. Um, I like how they um, build up their their story or whatever yeah. and they uh, they end up like coming down to save Angelino from the scientists uh, I, I like how they um, like sure. break into the lab and rescue the, the heroes of the movie yeah but um what I don't like is that um the the heroes eventually like leave them they, they run away <laughs> They're clearly on their side, so why run away? I mean, I mean, they didn't know what they were gonna do with them, and I mean our heroes. But personally, they're cool characters. I like their backstory. Frankly, I wish the movie was about them instead. But they're just in this movie. They just don't add too much. Like, obvi like obviously, they, yes, they do come back and they do affect the plot, but. Just with a few tweaks, it just feels like with a few tweaks, you could get rid of them with little to no, <laughs> with little to no consequence. Like, I don't know, just have, like, just have Angelino and, have Angelino and, have Angelino and Finn, Finn just escape by themselves, like, have somebody else just build the missile, then, then you could just get rid of, then they're just, they're cool, but they don't, they're cool, but they feel unnecessary and just take away from aspects of the film. Yeah, I agree. Same. It should just be, um, it should just be the Men in Black and Mr. K and his partner Bruce going after Angelino. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean the gangs. I mean the gangs are all. I mean the gangs are an interesting, are interesting side characters, and they us and they don't take up too much screen time oh yeah another thing about the film um, it, it tends to switch back and forth from Agent Crocodile to Bruce and Mr. K and here's what I find interesting um, Agent Crocodile plays a minor role in the movie by trying to get revenge on Angelino for wounding his face he fixates on this moment and wants to kill Angelino for it meanwhile Bruce and Mr. K are more focused on capturing him for to use as a test of subject. And so we have the major villains followed by a minor one. Major. Uh, wait, is Crocodile Man the Shakespeare guy? No, um, that's Bruce. Cro Bruce Crocodile guy is um, the one with blonde hair who had his face wounded. Well, no. Well, the cro well, the Crocodile... Let's see. Well, Bruce wanted revenge... Bruce wanted revenge on what's Golden Gun guy? What's his name? Vins. Vins for for for, for charming his face. He didn't care much. He didn't care too much for and, and I am really. I think he wanted revenge. On, yeah. He wanted he wanted revenge on he wanted revenge on he wanted revenge on his Golden Gun guy. Terrible name. His name is what's his name again? Bruce. He wanted, he wanted revenge on Bruce. He didn't care too much about Angelina. 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 Yeah, I, I know. Bruce plays a key role in the movie. Yeah. Not, yeah, he, in fact, he's the one who takes him out, but he doesn't. But it's. Mm. Yeah. They're, anyways, they're fine. But it's like um, Agent Crocodile's in his own separate movie. I mean, it's like a lot of characters seem to be in their own. It's like group. he's kind of drifting away from his group. Yeah, I mean that that could be settled by a lot of things. We have okay, which <laughs> I think this is. I think I'm gonna go into structure now. 
like personally my biggest problem is with this film is that it feels underdeveloped a lot as a too many has a lot of ideas and a lot of characters that just don't get don't get too much it's too it's too full it's too big for its own pants <laughs> like we have all of these we have all of these like we have all of these things we have all these concepts superhero luchadors the ma- the scientist who betray who goes rogue and stops and tries to stop the machos the machos themselves the gangs and then and our characters the romance the romance between between luna and and Argel- angelino they and we have all of this and it and all of it and personally i think the, the film I mentioned how the film feels like feels like it's was originally a manga. I say that because there's just because in a manga or just there is a comic book series in the movie. What? There is a comic book series in the movie. I know. I know. But Read it, you're yeah. good. <laughs> and I haven't I haven't read the se- I haven't read the series. Have you? No. Just seen. I haven't the read the series, but I'm assuming like I'm assuming like many of many of these aspects get. M- more time and time in the series but in the film they just feel they just feel it just feel makes it feel cluttered cluttered like um, well, like we mentioned how the luchadors could be like i mentioned how i think the luchadors could be easily cut out of the film the film would have been a lot better without the luchadors and the rogue scientist yeah. on screen yeah. i mean the, the rogue scientist i found the rogue scientist to be okay he doesn't take like he comes up a bit out of nowhere, but he does. But he doesn't take too much time. Unlike the Luchadors, where we where we spend five minutes explaining where they come from and what their deal is. The first scene we ever see the professor in is the one where he tries to bust out Angelina and his friends. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think they're true. Yeah, but I think it. Oh, oh yeah, that that whole section of the film it was just like it just is a minor spoiler. But in the but in the film, like. We learn about the machos and, and the mad scientists and all this stuff, including Luna, halfway through the movie, in this scene, in this chunk of scene, which just, I didn't, I really did not like, I did not like that, like, oh yeah, every, oh yeah, in this scene, everyone's in this base built by the loot, by the machos, it's their home base on Earth. <laughs> I did not, which, I did not like that scene, it's just, it just felt like it, like a lot of the film, just it, like the action was ground to a halt. There was not, the action was ground to a halt in a bad way. There was, there was just too much being explained too late. It's just, ah. it's just, mm, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Oh yeah, Luna's, oh yeah, as since we're doing spoilers, Luna is a, Luna is also half ma- macho, like, like Angelino. And and she is and she is kind of envious of Angelino, Angelino because he lived with the humans and she lived with with the machos, mm-hmm. which on paper is a which is a cool which is a cool concept for a relationship, but it's not but it's not explored. It's meant it's mentioned in the exposition dump halfway through the film. It just so many oh, so many as there's just so much things that could be like so many things just take priority that the plot is just feels kind of it feels like it's taking away from the plot the plot like, should just focus on angelina and his friends luna and the bad guys yeah exactly just get, <laughs> just exactly. have them duke it out instead of adding all this extra crap yeah like i, <laughs> I maybe i'm a, maybe they're trying to make him feel like a insignificant part of a bigger universe like angel but it just doesn't work like just things like why do we like like it would be cliched but why not just have luna and angelo go on a date like it would be like we could have to yeah actually have them in love with each other yeah like they don't need to be in love like i don't think they need to be in love but just have some relationship and also and also have have them talk have angel angelino talk to luna more than before halfway through the film I think it'd feel I think it'd feel better if Luna had the same feelings as Angelino. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, they should both be in love. Yeah. I mean the, I mean, yeah. Some people may disagree, but 
I think the story would be a lot better if they were both in love with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's or just, yeah. Ag- ag- yeah, I would ag- I would agree to a lesser a lesser extent, but there's just so many. There's just so many. It's just it's just so cluster. I can't. It's just it's just so cluster. <clears throat> just have them like like give them that. You okay? At the beginning, you mentioned how. Angelino's backstory is mentioned throughout the film. Like personally, I have to disagree with you, Anya, in that front. That front, like it feels very, like I think they just spend way too much time on that. Like they spent, in my opinion, they spend way too much time on Angelino's backstory. I think that could be explained in a se- in one or two scenes, and not much would be not much would be lost. I personally like his backstory. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think I think it's a bad, fine backstory, but I have to disagree on you in the front that I did not like how it was implemented. Um, hold on a second. We're gonna have to wrap it up in a couple minutes. All right. Anyways, so you like the action? That's a, anyways, like. Anyways, so you. So what was? So what's your overall thoughts of the movie? Um. The characters are cool. I like, again, I like how um, Angelino's backstory is told. And I think the film could be better if it didn't have all these, um, all these, like, unnecessary um, things added in. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I would... they, it does a good job at saying um, he lives in, in a rough, rough part of town. Yeah. Like, and he has to avoid, like, Going into the the gangsters area, I'm not gonna be too too, too I, I'm not gonna be too specific because I don't want, I don't want to offend anyone. And um he and I I like how um he falls in love with Luna. I just wish they both felt the same way. I, I just wish they were both in love. Personally, oh, personally, I personally I think it's very. I would agree. It's very. It's very cluttered as first they think it's very it's a very cluttered film, however it's also a very well made film. And I think and I also think just the production elevates it from being just completely boring. Boring. So I think it's so I like obviously I ramble obviously I ramble about what I didn't like about this film, but I don't think it's I don't think it's too bad. I think it's a I think it's okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 7.5. Um, 7 point, I would give, I would give it a 4 or 5, between that area. Between that area. That's not recommend? okay. What? That's not okay. That's, that's alright. That's alright. 5 is, 5 is in between. Like, if you, anyways, personally, if you, personally, if you like, like, I would give it a light recommendation if you think it looks cool, if you think it looks cool and you want to see some. And you want to see something a little fu- kind of fun and kind of fun? If you think it looks cool, and if you, look, and you think it looks, any or you want to watch something fun, I would I would recommend it. But personally, I don't think you're missing much if you miss, if you don't watch it. The main the main reasons I like the film is the animation and the scenes where the main character has to fight. All right. All right. Would you recommend it though? Um. I would recommend it for people who are into anime. Okay. And again, you have to be 18 or older to watch this. Yeah. Yes. Unless you're... Okay, so... Alright, so, anything else? Um, I, I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Anyways, thanks for letting me ramble for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, TJ. My pleasure. Okay. Anything you'd like to add? Um. So, if you're like, if you're interested in this film, um, it can be watched in English, French, or Japanese. Okay. If you're like into Japanese dubbed anime, then go for it. Okay. Thank you for coming on, TJ. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye.